What a joy it is to come and share with you these devotional moments. In Luke chapter 2, the Bible tells the story of Jesus at the age of 12 being taken by his parents from Nazareth. He accompanied them to the feast of the Passover in Jerusalem. Uh, the feast days had been completed and his parents are returning home. Jesus, young child, is not in their presence, but they just suppose, they believe that if he was not with them, surely he's with family and friends. He had never done anything to make them think to the contrary. He had always been a good and obedient child. Surely he's with family and friends. After a day, they discover they can't find him. They return back to Jerusalem, and after a period of three days, they find him in the temple, talking with doctors and lawyers, asking and answering questions. And his mother wants to know, why have you dealt this way with us? And the words of the young boy is, know ye not that I must be about my father's business. Mary and Joseph were three days without Jesus. It almost appears to be a precursor of that time between crucifixion and resurrection when his followers would be three days without him. But uh, the whole point of this story is to remind us never take Jesus for granted. His parents took for granted that if he was not with them, surely he was, he's with some other family members or friends. He's in the part of our company. And one of the dangers we have as the people of God is that from time to time, if we are not very careful, we will end up like Mary and Joseph taking Jesus for granted. And whenever Jesus is missing in your life, everything changes. The salient matter about Mary and Joseph was they began searching to find him and they did not stop until they found him. Whatever you do, if Christ appears to be missing, in your heart, in your life. You ought to start a diligent search as Mary and Joseph did and don't stop until you find him. When they found him, what did they do? They took him back home to Nazareth. When you find Jesus, take him home with you. He has a way of lighting up the, the atmosphere and warming up the environment. Life will never be the same when you take Jesus home with you. And then when that day comes when you get put out of your house, I want to say to you today, he'll take you home to his house. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the privilege of knowing you through your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that he's in our hearts. He's in our homes. We thank you that he in him we live, we move, and we have our very being. Bless us now, we pray, in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. I want to remind you of our prayer calls on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. This Sunday will be our graduate honors day. We're asking that you would come be a part of our worship on Sunday as we honor our graduates. And then on next week, Monday through Thursday, uh, we will be hosting uh, the late night services for the National Baptist Convention USA. You can go on our website and see uh, the flyer. You'll be blessed. Some of this nation's most outstanding preachers will be sharing with us on next week. God bless you and you have a great day in the Lord.